I need more guns because Bunker Bravo is draining me dry. Oh! Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the episode of Last Elder Survival. Today, we're in some boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, y'all are all having an absolutely fantastic day of the most amazing Friday that really keeps on getting better from here on out. Today, we're back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, at the junkyard, and I want vengeance! As you guys know, me and the junkyard have had some uh, fun times as of late. To say the least. Very fun. 10 out of 10 in terms of fun. And it appears that we're going to be having some more today. We actually have a version of the Raider event. This one looks to be a little bit different, which I'm pretty excited about. Because the versions of the Junkyard that we've come across before, I think this might literally be like a fourth version of the event or something. Because like these Raiders over there to our left, right? I smell a little bit bad, so I'm not trying to get too close. They are usually kind of like tinkering with this thingy mabob over here. So, hmm, I wonder what salute might be looking like in here. Regardless, you know what we gotta do. Let's get to market ourselves some Raiders and wow. Oh, I was about to say his friend didn't notice. No, you definitely noticed, but uh, that's all good. It's taken care of. Now, the question is, is there still the person? Yes, over there that we got to save on the other side of that thing. First things first. Hey, we got ourselves a little bit of loot, and loot is going to be a big theme of today because today, oh, piece of candy. Today, we're going to be going after... Among other things, the floppy disk red tickets and all sorts of jazz like that that is unfortunately locked. We are going to be trying to show off and go through all of the different loot things that there are within the new update and see if we can't find any types of new loot inside of them. And also, I need more guns because Bunker Bravo is draining me dry. Oh! Where'd you come from? I know that I smell bad, but come on, I don't smell that bad. Yeah, so I maybe should have taken a shower, but listen, me and my stank were iconic. So you know what? I had to go ahead, I had to run it back, I had to bring it back a little bit. I haven't been stinky in a while, so this is just for old time's sake, you know, or something motivational sounding like that. Ooh. Now there's a lot of broken down armor. I will be grabbing some of this armor. I'll probably end up ditching some of the worst armors, but definitely like broken down SWAT and stuff, I do want to grab because if we recycle it, it will give us a lot of experience points in recycling armor, and that's good because recycling has meant armor might get us lead, and I want lead. What is up, Raiders? How do you do? Oh, do Dude, I literally healed. What are you talking about? I literally just healed. I literally, literally just clicked the heal button. I don't even want to hear it. What? Oh my God. You can't be serious right now, dude. What? I swear, like, dude, I, this happens all the time. Like, am I, I think what happens. Okay. You know what I think it is? I think it's because like I click the heal button and this is kind of like, this is something I've noticed. I don't think Last Day on Earth actually heals you until you let go of the heal button. Luckily, this time around, I have gas in my freaking chopper, so I think we'll be good on that front. But, dude, that is ridiculous, bro. Like, you can't be serious right now, man. I'm just trying to get back to the freaking junkyard, dude. Why does the junkyard do this to me, man? Okay, luckily, we got plenty of time to get over there. Whew. And we got a little bit of basic armor here to prepare ourselves for what we are about to be getting into. But seriously, dude, what intarnation? Like, I think that's why I keep dying. Because whenever I click heal, but it does not heal you until you let go. Like, look, I'm about to show you guys what I'm talking about. Hopefully, I'm not about to get mugged by these raiders that are very mad at me coming back. But, like, this is, like, I've, like this is such a small detail that I've just never noticed or anything. But look at this. Look at this. Like, I click. Like, look at that. It doesn't heal when you click. You have to let go of the click. And I think that's where I'm messing up is like, okay, I'm gonna let go over there. Like, that's how you kind of like cancel it. But still, I think that's where I'm going wrong is that like I click it, but while it's, while I'm still mid click, they kill me. So I got to freaking heal earlier or something because like my timing is literally milliseconds off. That's what I get for trying to maximize my freaking healing. I don't have any pantalones, by the way. So hopefully this will do. What's up, Raiders? How you doing? And there we go. That went a little bit smoother. You! Dang right, I'm not one of them. Give me some loot. You give me some pants. I have had a long day already, man. It's only a couple minutes into the video, and it's already looking like it's going to be a freaking long one at this rate, broski. But uh, let's go ahead and grab some of the valuables that we brought, because I did bring quite an extensive array of weaponry. We are going to be going to Fort Moss after this as well to make sure that we uh, knock out a little bit of fun over there. Let's make sure that we are grabbing a lot of the better loot that we have throughout here. Guns always highly appreciated. Uh, some pretty 
pretty decent fur boots, I'm not gonna lie. And I'll probably come back and grab the rest of this stuff too. But okay, I think I've diagnosed what our issue is. It's just that like I like whenever I click down on heal, that's when things go disastrously wrong. But like I'm saying, a little bit later today. Ooh, hold on. This might be a prime opportunity to steal some loot. Okay. Or just the lights bulb, but also some gas, because I do have some empty gas canisters. I'm gonna go check what's in that locked chest, because that's where we might be able to get some ATV parts, which is the big thing that I am obviously after. Let's go ahead and heal up a little bit and fill up our bellies. But uh, yeah, our shenanigans do continue, boys and girls, and hopefully. Ah, unfortunately, we did not get the car battery, but there is still a chance of getting it. Because whenever we've gotten the car battery, it's actually been through looting motorcycles. And there's still a couple of motorcycles that we can loot through here. So as long as we're prepared for the challenges, trials, and tribulations that await us, we can go ahead and dive bomb into it. I'm also going to go and maybe try to equip some different armor. I don't want my full durability armor getting too dinked up. But I don't want to break the SWAT armor either because I do want to freaking recycle it. So YOLO, uh, hopefully this can stay intact. We're about to be getting ourselves into a little bit of trouble. And uh, we're going to see how this goes. But make sure you guys and girls are subscribed with that notification bell to stay up to date with our Last Day on Earth series and all the awesome survival that we have going on. We are obviously working towards building the ATV and venturing off to the swamps in addition to showing off all the new things that there are in Season 3 and all future updates. And if you guys haven't already, make sure to tap on that bubble that just popped up at the top right-hand corner of the screen to check out some of our Season 3 adventures so far, of which there have been many, including junkyard runs, some disastrous, some epic. Regardless, it's been a jolly good time and okie doke. Okay, I'm ready to heal this time. I'm dude. I don't even care. I'm, I'm gonna heal early like that's why I died I started, you know, I just started I had this I had this revelation right where I'm like star You got to start being more efficient with your first aid kits Even though I literally have mother loads of these things and like honestly I would happily trade some first aid kits for especially after bunker bravo more guns I need some more of those gun type things, right? But uh Whatchamacall, I had this revelation where I'm like I gotta start being more efficient with my med kits and That's why I'm dying. I wait too long no more of that! I don't care if I gotta waste a little bit of my medkit if it means that I don't die. I'm a happy camper. <laughs> I hate dying. It's not cool. Zero out of ten would not die again. And all right, why don't we go and chow down in a couple more of them cans. Let's drop that and definitely want to be picking up that and... The Kalashnikov does look pretty cool, too. I got plenty of plastics. I'll just go ahead and ditch that. Oh, and I need a hat. I'll just go and put on this hat, honestly. Uh, over here. Why do you have two pairs of pants, Mr. Raider? Did I give you an extra pair of pants? I don't know. I'm a little bit bamboozled by that. But okay, let's check out what the motorcycle has in store over here because we've gotten a car battery out of this before and there is no car battery in store for today. That's okay. We'll go back over there and siphon up that gas in a little bit. And we still have all of these different like chests and stuff that we got to loot up. But first things first, we got to clear out the rest of these raiders. That is where the main issue does come into play. But then after the junkyard, we're going to head over to Fort Moss. So clear that out a little bit because we can now do our daily horde over there. Now that we have maxed out Fort Moss, if you guys haven't already, tap on that bubble just top popped up in the top right-hand corner of the screen to check out the video where we did Max out Fort Moss and uh, actually get our first ever ATV transmission, boy! Sorry, just had to get really hype about that. And let's get hype about killing us some raiders. You love to freaking see it. Oh, they're starting to do a lot of damage over there. That guy's, oh my God, that was why. We're getting shot by four different people. I thought there was only three. That right there, boys and girls, is why you gotta stay in school. So you learn how to count. I swear, I'm a counting expert. I'm a countologist and oof. That's the only sound I could muster after what I've seen here today. No car battery, unfortunately. But that's okay. That's okay. We'll keep on chugging along. We got a little bit of gas already from this. That we're going to go and toss into our ATV. Not ATV. We are going to be tossing gas into the ATV at some point, though. No need to stress about that. Let's just go ahead and fill it right up. And then let's grab some of these empty bottles so we can siphon up some of the gas that these motorcycles do have. One of my favorite things about all rest stop and also these types of events is that there is gas for days, baby. Especially this one where there are three choppers for us to loot from. And each chopper tends to have a little bit of loot inside of it. And by loot, I mean gas. And gas is good because it takes gas to drive here. And honestly, driving here usually means that you can profit in terms of gas. And personally, like out of all the junkyard events, I think that this one's my favorite because I die the least to this one. Not saying that I don't die because, well, that happened earlier today. Although, I, it's a conspiracy, man. I'm telling you. It's a freaking conspiracy. Okay. 
because you don't heal when you click down. And oh, okay, well, there you go. I healed a little bit there, but you know what I mean? Like you gotta let go of the clicky click to go and get the heal through. And I need pants and shoes. I just realized I'm missing those as well. I will uh, sort out my issues there, but for now, oh yeah, I wanted to go to that freaking third chopper and uh, fill up all the gas. I got a little bit sidetracked because I wanted to pop open this little military truck. That one does, after all, have a chance at dropping what I believe to be the, uh, oh, I forgot to grab the freaking empty water bottles, but that one actually has a chance at dropping. I've gotten steel plates out of it before, so like really the junkyard does have like a lot of great stuff that can be gotten from it, and that's exactly what I'm trying to get from it, you know? You're in a main. And all right, let's go and see what this has for us in terms of the gas. And nice. We were able to get a nice little stockpile from all of them. You, my dude, how do you do? Okay, keep on leaning up against that tree. Looks pretty comfy. It looks like a tempur tree right there. Luckily, this ain't one of the zombie versions of the junkyard, so I don't have to worry about these noises actually affecting anything. I do want to grab the wiring actually pretty badly because <laughs> let me just say this update has drained me of my wire supply bros it is not been pretty this update has literally drained me of a lot of things man and uh, you know what that's why we hoard baby that's why we've been hoarding like crazy leading up to this update because we were waiting for an update like this and we were prepared man we were prepared and bunker bravo is painful but we were prepared for the pain baby and ooh, a blue engine unfortunately i actually have an engine on the back of my chopper at the moment so that is a little bit of a problem a uh, little bit of a conflict of interest there i also want to make sure to grab those boots at the very least Did anyone else he dropped a gun i want to grab a naked guy over there doesn't have anything i think and he dropped another gun pretty bad shape though yeah we'll play things by ear for here and for now let's see what this has in store over here mr car uh, nice, we got some more wires. You love to see it, mate. You absolutely love to see it. Bloody gorgeous, you know? And all right, let's make our way over to this and grab the last of those gas uh, bottles. And then I'll toss that into the chopper for, I don't know, them to be used properly. Not really any point in using those. Actually, I guess I could use them on the turrets too. To fuel. Oh yeah, we got to fuel the turrets for freaking our Fort Moss defense. But without further ado, let's do one final round over here. Make sure that we haven't missed any potential loot spots because there's quite a few to go around from these parts. Uh, we also do have, of course, my old dead body. Oh, some pants. I'll grab those pants, actually. They're in pretty decent shape. Uh, over here, like... I didn't really leave anything like super valuable behind. I do have the stack of empty bottles, but I already got a freaking stack back at the other thing, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, oh, baby, let's go. Decent durability shotgun from you. Okie dokie, artichoke. We also got these SWAT boots over here. Mm, I'm tempted. Honestly, eh, I'll get rid of those boots over there because SWAT boots will give us more EXP when we do recycle them. Everything here's looking good. Motorcycles looking good. You, my guy, how you looking? You, you okay? Yeah, I think you'll be okay. So then, like I said, after this, we'll head over to Fort Moss. No, I didn't want to grab this freaking engine. Ah! You might be like, Star, why did you even, like, bring an engine with you if you could get engines from here? Well, that's because there's a version of this event that requires you to trade in an engine to get some loot. And you can get that engine from the junkyard, although last time I did that, I died because it's literally, like, as soon as you pick up the engine... The zombies swarm you in the worst place imaginable. Literally, they swarm you where you can't put the dang thing down. And it's like, well, that did not end well. Now, did it? No, no, it did not. Um, And in terms of something that I want to drop here. I'm not going to lie, boys and girls. It's partial durability M16. I kind of, I'm sorry, partial durability M16. But you're way too partial for me. And like I'm saying, these SWAT armors are going to serve a nifty little purpose here. Pistol, I'm sorry. I'd rather have a partial durability something else over you. And you don't really have too much durability to you. I could, I mean, I could recycle those guns, right? But at the same time, I've already maxed out my gun recycler level. I, and I'm trying to max out my armor recycler level right now, which is why I want to pick up all the SWAT armor when I come across it. But, uh, yeah, without further ado, I think that we've done a nice final sweep of the Junkyard event. Let's make our way over to Fort Moss and then make our way over. Hold on, did I loot this up already? I think I did. Okay, just want to make sure. And then let's make our way over to Nanaza, Zen, Bunker, Alpha, and at Bunker Alpha. There will be happiness to be had. Bunker Alpha will give us the loot. And I hear that you can get caps and stuff from Bunker Alpha loot nowadays as well. Which ain't too shabby. And also, we're going to be tossing in a floppy disk and seeing what that hubbub 
is all about. Because we've yet to freaking loot up a floppy disk in this new update too. So like we're going to be opening up that green, yellow, and red ticket crates. Uh, and all that jazz and overall, oh man, I'm excited because that floppy disk, especially if we get an infected box, there's a chance we get something pretty cool. And speaking of kind of this whole thing where I need more guns and armor for Bunker Bravo, right? Boys and girls, we are about to have a raiding extravaganza. We haven't done this in a while, but there might be like a quadruple, even quintuple raid video coming to a Star Slam channel near you. Oh, that's right, baby. It will be good times. But so uh, without further ado, let's go and power up some of our turrets over here. Oh, maybe I gotta grab a little bit of wood now that I think about it. Ooh, yeah. Our base has seen better days. And uh, we're about to be facing off against a pretty hefty little horde here. Okie dokie. So here's the game plan for here. What we're gonna do is uh, go ahead and just boop in a little bit of gas over there. So that turret is nice and ready to go. We're gonna do that with all the other turrets. Honestly, I could probably just toss in like one bottle of gas. Dude, that's really all that we need for these turrets, actually. I do, by the way, want to freaking move this turret. Ideally, not to a point where it's going to start shooting at that turret because we've gone over the issues that that causes. So I might go ahead and put this turret over here and hopefully this can lead to some good stuff because that turret's really not doing much over here. Or honestly, I could also move this turret somewhere up around these parts. Ooh, I actually like this idea quite a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna put that turret right there because this side is actually, it has, that side hasn't been struggling as of late though. Loki, this side's been struggling a little bit, but I gotta put it down on stone. Not a lot of stone around these parts. I just don't know, like, I don't know where I wanna put this turret, man. I, this, I don't know, this turret over there usually does pretty okay. So yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll toss it right over here i yeah i reckon we'll be good i do want to see what this turret is capable of doing because there's always some havoc to be made over on that side of things obviously i've powered that turret so that thing should be good to go let's make sure that we power the rest of these turrets is that is right baby Ooh, drink that gas gobble gobble it guzzle G gobble guzzle i was trying to combine those two words gobble gobble it up baby i sound like a freaking turkey gobble gobble <laughs> Gobble it on up, you little turrets. And uh, let's try to get ourselves a little bit of a defense because every single day we can return and uh, do some defenses here and get some free supplies out of it too. Well, not really free, but like, I don't know. All that we got to do is like spend a little bit of supplies here to rebuild some of our absolutely destroyed defenses. I think I might try to, by the way, prioritize some of the defenses on this side of things because this side is always getting freaking raffle stomped. Like it's pretty insane. Besides that, though, like, this side's looking relatively okay. I do want to make some repairs over on this side. I think that that is a safe idea. Hopefully, the turrets can hold up, man, because, like, they've been having some rough times as of late. That side of things is repaired. This side of things needs a couple of repairs. Nothing too crazy. And after grabbing a wee bit more wood, let's go and toss down a couple more of these things to hopefully buy ourselves more time, especially up around these parts and hold on i may have locked myself in here oh yeah that is something that i have done oh yeah 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 but yeah but uh, why did i do this to myself okay i gotta freaking break that and i gotta break that i always do this to myself man i freaking lock myself in here because like i never build a proper doorway because that costs resources and it, I, they're just gonna get broken anyway we've seen what these hordes are capable of man they're not to be trifled with not at all but uh, I'll go ahead and lock it up just like that. I'll toss another couple of defenses that way. And I reckon we're looking pretty good to go. We got our VSS in hand. We also got our shotgun rain for some good old spread shot damage. And without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's speak to the Capitan and let's fight off the horde of zombies. I'm kind of scared to fight off the level two horde, but YOLO, what could possibly go wrong? Probably everything, but that's besides the point. Let's see what the level two horde's all about. Which way are the zombies coming from? I hear bullets uh, this way. Let's try and make our way over here to provide a little bit of support because we know that it's probably gonna need a shotgun rain. Nice, let's get a couple of blasts off into there. I hear some more bullets going on, I think to the east. Uh, I heard a couple, nothing too crazy though. Oh yeah, we got some action over this way. It's the Demolisher. What's up, baby? How you doing? Demolisher, come back over here. Oh no. Oh, the Carrions. Die, Carrions. Die. Ow. That hurts so bad. Okay, this Demolisher is freaking destroying some of our walls though. Stop it. 
I worked hard on those walls, you freaking doofus. We got our double turret action that way. Oh, no, that could have been bad. Those carillons were doing some major damage to us. And speaking of major damage, dude, bless up for uh, uh, the double turret on this side of things. Clutch, baby. Clutch. I think that that side of things is looking safe. Oh, not the Berserker. Stay away from it, turret. Oh, no. Okay, that could have been bad. And, like, this is only the freaking start of it, man. Things are only going to keep on getting worse and worse from here. The Carrion's over there will be taken care of. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to worry about helping some of these turrets. These are where the help is truly needed, I think. Okay, nice. We were able to get rid of that. For a level 2 horde, we're doing okay. We got tons more enemies coming this way. Shotgun rain! We were really able to hit almost nothing because of our door placement. Come on, turrets. Stay strong, baby. Stay strong! Bless up for how much health these turrets have, man. They're like freaking tanks! And okay, come on. Let's just keep her going. Keep her going. The tower's under attack. No, it's not. Don't lie to me. No lies allowed. There are some pretty powerful enemies over here. We got a tainter and another tainter that looks to be trying to break a freaking stone wall. That's defeated. Dude, what else is coming, man? Uh, this is this is the freaking two skull horde. I know it's not going to be this smooth. Ooh! I was right. What is this? Oh, not the demolisher. Back it up, dude. Back it up. Please don't break my turret. Bless up. It takes him a couple of breaks to get into the freaking shotgun rain to break through the stone wall. But we just had the stone wall protecting our... Whoa! Level two defeated. That means that next time we're going to try and take down level three. Because I'm not going to lie, we did a pretty good job defending things. This side still got absolutely shattered. But everything else the defense is held oh my goodness gracious okay we definitely gotta do some major rebuilding on that side of things that turret needs some rebuilds too dude for once the east side held oh my god i can't believe my eyes it actually held up the east side never holds up Dude, okay, that's incredible. We definitely got to make some improvements over there. Maybe I'll try to transition some barbed wire from around the base over to that side of things. Maybe that'll help out. We definitely got to rebuild that. But overall, man, strong showing by us. Thank you so much for the loot. And, uh, oh, baby, that's 5,000 defense points we just got, which is going to be marvelous because we definitely want to keep up with the Fort Moss rankings because if we end up with the top 5%, we are going to be making some major progress towards our ATV, which is, as I have repeatedly said, the main goal of things, baby. And Jessica over here has something for us, I think. But what? I'll come back and get your stuff, Jessica. But for now, I head home after a long day. And maybe, here's the thing, the junkyard event appeared, right? There's still a chance that the rest stop event appears. And the rest stop event is a pretty nice event let me just say oh i hear the boops i hear the boops i see the beeps Woo! okie dokie well 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 i'm gonna go drop off some loot and we're driving our chopper back over to another dope location also within the next episode we should be unlocking our week three tasks we're gonna see what those are all about so definitely a little bit excited about that overall man just exciting times are coming the final week of season three which means that we're gonna be getting even closer to season four which should be coming in december ideally before christmas like Dude, it's a good time to be surviving in the day in I mean, in the realm of last day on earth, baby. You love to see it. And after putting away most of the valuables that we just grabbed and starting to recycle a few of them, let's make sure we put away the rubber and the cogs in our massive ATV chest stockpile that's coming along relatively nicely if you ask me definitely a fan out of it 10 out of 10 would be a fan of this again but uh yeah if things are looking good on that front of things and our inventory is primed and prepped for what i was talking about where we're gonna be showing off all the new bunker alpha loot and the floppy disk and if we're lucky We'll get our hands on an infected crate because I want to show off the new acid bath because the acid bath itself did get a little bit of an update. And, uh, well, let me just say that is going to be pretty nice today. But let's make our way over to the rest stop and uh, definitely try to get some guns from here. The rest stop is a great location to stockpile on some guns. And like I was saying, the gun stockpile is highly valued by your boy Star right now. 
because how 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 does one say uh yeah we need them that's why again we're gonna be having like a raiding extravaganza episode coming your way soon ideally coming across some raids hopefully we find a base just loaded with freaking wires because i'm like almost totally out of wires and i really need wires now i never thought i'd hear the day i'd say that but yeah your boy needs wires badly okay i've been sapped dry ideally like a good freaking gun raid dude hopefully lots of swat armor like Guys, Bunker Bravo's been draining me dry, baby. So seriously, there's gonna be a huge rating episode coming soon. We got a nice stockpile of C4 built up, and we're gonna be putting it to use. Are you gonna mug me? Oh! He mugged me. Don't mug me, dude. The good news is, is that no one else decided to mug me yet. Yeah, that's right, you guys. That's what happened. Your buddy died for trying to mug me. You sure you want to keep on mugging me? Too bad, so sad. Okay, hold on. I'm making sure to heal because I know exactly. What's capable of happening? Oh, oh, nice M16. That's what I'm talking about, baby. We got that M16. You love to see it. What do we got over here? Oh, some actually still intact armor. Surprising, but this ended up being a pretty simple event. Definitely not the best version of the rest stop event. Personally, I love the showdown where there's like two groups of survivors trying to shoot each other because oh, 10 wires. Let's go. Uh, dude, I, I never thought I'd see the day I'm getting hype over 10 wires. This is what season three, season three's changed me, man. I'm different. Ooh, a little bit of gas too. There we got the red tickets. Marvelous. I needed like at least one more of those. So I was kind of banking on finding them or at least killing something. So bless up. We found them. Shouts out to you, rest stop event for coming up clutch. We got some other valuables over here that we'll be dropping off at base. And overall, pretty decent little run. Pretty decent. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of hoping it'd be the Horde version of this event, because then the- Ooh, piece of candy. The Horde could have done the heavy lifting, killed these guys, and uh, I would have just watched and been like, hey, 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 you know, eating my popcorn and stuff, and uh, then I could have collected all the rope from the Horde, because rope, that's another thing I have, like, almost nothing of, thanks to what this freaking, what the freaking Season 3 update's done to me, man. It's changed me. Like I was saying, I'm also gonna go and bring her chopper over to the meeting point over here. Yeah, yeah, ow, ow, hold up. Okay, I accidentally messed things up over there. Let's go ahead and hop off and, uh, okay, come on, move past the freaking chopper over there, bub. Let's uh, grab all the gas that we can. We got about six worth of gas right there. And let's try to regenerate mainly with the gas that we just got and not our freaking uh, stockpiled gas over there because that's a little bit more valuable in my opinion when you have, actually have it like in the can rather than in water bottles. I'm not banging on water bottles. I'm just saying the cans are uh, preferred because I think that you can usually do more with those things and they hold more. So like a stack of cans will get you way more gas, brother. But uh, okie dokie, we got that gas over there. We got these empty water bottles that I might just go ahead and ditch. Sorry, empty water bottles. Hate to do you like that, but it had to be done. Um, my body armor is looking a bit out of whack. I might just toss on this thick boy, and I'm not. I'm not tossing on the thick jacket. I'm just. I'm just keeping my jacket. Sorry, thick jacket. Your thickness will find you love one day. I pinky promise. Okay, someone will want to wear you. That someone, however, is not me. I usually don't wear less than body armor, except with pantalones because I'm having the freaking struggle. Oh, pantalones. I was about to say, I'm having the struggle of my life trying to find pants. I'm just saying, man, I don't know what it is. I think something about the zombie apocalypse just causes a pantalones shortage to occur. Like, I'm not crazy, right? You guys also experience this pantalones shortage. Like, you know, you guys ever just wake up and you're like, dang, I have no pants. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm maybe I'm just loco. Let's be honest. I'm, I'm, I'm probably just loco. I'm going to go drop this loot off. And then we're going to go to Bunker Alpha and cash in. On the green, yellow, and red ticket crates, baby. And we have arrived at Bunker Alpha with a nice and empty inventory, mainly with the things that are going to be getting us more loot, much of which is, again, going to be going towards helping us in, well, clear out Bunker Bravo, especially, hopefully, the freaking floppy crate decides to give us, like, I mean, a grenade launcher would always be nice, but on top of the grenade launcher, like, some scars, you know, some just valuable stuff like that, like, pretty please with cherry on top, but today's code is going to be 234 if you want to get into Bunker Alpha. If that's out of date, by the time you are trying to put it in, make sure you check that comment section down below for an up-to-date version brought to you by the Fade Freaking Tastic community here at the Slap Gang, and if you're not seeing it down below, you could be the Fade Freaking Tastic lad or lassie to toss that magical sequence of numbers down there and help out anyone who might be in need after all. We are all about trying to be a fan for contestant community, helping each other out, positivity, and all them fan for contestant shenanigans that we're constantly getting ourselves into. Hey, 
fast spider. There you go. Eat my positivity in the form of bullets. Uh, what about you over here? We got to clear out this fast spider. We got to open up. Boop. No, I don't want to. Okay. Yellow ticket. I'll take that. I want to open up this doorway, though. And I want to see if maybe, 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 boop. Something within here might be new because again, this is the main reason I really want to open up all these different loot boxes while well, also helping me with Bunker Bravo, but I want to see if uh you know, this stuff is like, is if there's gonna, ooh, hold up, piece of candy. We leveled up our battle pass, Ash, get it. What are we up to, yo? Not just the motorcycle jacket and gas cylinder. You'll love to see it, and Kevlar boots. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Probably gonna be saving those for what might, like, I don't know, man. This guy, like, listen, my hoarding paid off. So I'm not using that Kevlar until we need to, and I don't think we need to yet, so my hoarding will continue, but let's see what we got within the finger terminal, please, finger do me good. And okay, nothing new, it's the same old, same old, but same old, same old is pretty respectable to say the least, definitely no complaints about what we are seeing here, but I think the green, yellow, and red ticket crates might have new stuff in the season 3 update, hopefully some new materials and stuff like that. Let's see what the green crate's all about. Then we'll see the yellow, and then we'll see the red, and hold up, we need a couple zombies dead! Yeah, that's right, we're making the undead dead again, baby. The undead are becoming the re-dead, the dead again. And let's see what's within the green ticket crate! Ooh, seven caps. That is about the only thing that is new within the green ticket crate, but still, new is new. I like new. Okie dokie, I'll put the springs away for now. Yellow ticket crate! Anything newer within you? Ooh, okay, we got 12 bottle caps. That's about the only new looking thing. Armor, give me. I need that freaking armor, man. I need it. And a couple of pretty nifty looking guns. We got the chopper wheel. Let me just go and click take all over there so we stack up all the valuables that we can. And finally, the red ticket crate. This is where my hopes are the highest, man. Do you have anything new in store for me? No whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no! Whoa! We got a little bit of acid, baby. Oh, I was not expecting to find acid in here, but now that you mention it, I will happily take that acid off your hands. <laughs> okay, okay, respectable. Now, I, I gotta go and grab some more stuff from there. I also gotta freaking make a pit stop, probably at home. After this, we could drop off some of this loot because the specialist over here. Well, I don't know why I'm talking to you, buddy. I wanna plug that little disc into here so we can make our way over to the floppy with coordinates and get either a floppy disk crate or an infected crate we can bring back home and cleanse with the acid that we got from the red ticket crate which is kind of cool i don't think acid really has many uses though to my knowledge you can only use it for crafting the car battery which to be honest you're not going to be doing until you get some freaking lead anyway so not like that matters but uh you can craft a freaking car battery and then you can yeah, I think that's literally that and the cleansing of, uh, whatchamacall, infected crates. It's like the two uses that they have, I think. So, uh, let's go ahead and fill up the rest of our inventory with the stuff that we can, because there is a nice stockpile of guns. Super sad to see that, uh, well, I'm actually really saddened by this, but there is uh, no... Mm, I'm really saddened by that, actually. There's no AKs that we got out of this, man. That's a big bummer. Oof, we do have the car air filter there. I'll leave a couple of these tickets behind, right? Because I do want to definitely... I'll leave a couple of things behind. I am going to come back for these. Don't need to worry, boys and girls. I'm not one to leave freaking stuff like this behind, right? But I do want to make sure that I'm grabbing as much of the valuables as I can. Also, I'm sorry, jerky, to do this to you. I'm mostly going to leave you behind for the time being. And honestly, eh, copper bar, you can chill. And you can chill. I wanted the guns first and foremost, baby. And I'll chow down on some jerky right about now. Definitely want to come back for some of these resources. There's some relatively valuable stuff that I'm not trying to leave behind. But look at all these guns that we got, man. N okay, like, mainly, I'll, I might have to start using freaking Uzis in Bunker Bravo. I haven't really incorporated those into our Bunker Bravo strategy. But with how much we're burning through our AK, M16, and SCAR supply, I think we might need to start tapping into our mini Uzi supply. Which, it's a respectable gun with the right mods, but, like... It, it could be better. It could, in my opinion, be z a better, a better gun. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. I just fought Kalashnikov 47s. But let's make our way. Let's turn in. Nun Uza. Then this loot into my base, then make our way over to the floppy. 
this crate. Also, can I just say, I really hope that our freaking, like I'm saying, we're soon to, ooh, hold up. I gotta freaking get to recycling some of my almost broken armor, which I think I tossed a couple of. No, that's where I got some actually good armor. There you go. Start recycling that because this is the big reason why I wanted to grab all this broken down armor, right? Look at how much it levels up our thing, man. Like, that's a good amount. And if we could actually get this third slot up to 4%, we might be able to get some lead from literally hazmat armor, which would be huge because we might be able to build the freaking secret room over in uh bunker bravo or whatever which would really be a huge help uh speaking of a huge help i need the back of my chopper clear just in case we do get that infected crate so i'm gonna have to go and drop this off uh, beep, right over there let's hop on the chopper let's make our way over to this floppy disc crate and see what the hubbub's all about but so far in terms of new loot Mainly, it looks like red ticket crates give you acid, and all of the uh, ticket crates give you some caps as well, which is nice because then just by clearing Bunker Bravo or Bunker Alpha, you actually have a chance of getting ATV transmissions, technically. Very small, but once you bring those caps over to this place, you can indeed get those. And once you get those, I mean, you also have the chance of getting other stuff like guns, high tech components. Like the gas station is going to be pretty nifty. I really do like the new cap system, man, especially with how widespread they've made caps to get. I I definitely like that about it. I, of course, wish they were more widespread, but so far, so good. Let's make our way over to the floppy disk crate, though. And, uh, dude, speaking of good things, like I'm saying, we seriously got to get a big raiding episode in. And hopefully, we come across a couple of bases. Hopefully, some armor jackpots where you can just get tons of sets of SWAT armor. That would be huge. Some wire jackpots and just, like, some resources I'm low on. And obviously, some good gun jackpots as well. I think that's, like, the trifecta of things that I'm hoping for. Let's make our way to the floppy crate, though, and let me know what you guys think of that comment section down below of these new resources that we have found in some of these new locations, and let me know if you guys have found any new resources in any other locations as well. Like, maybe if you guys have found anything new in basements, maybe if you guys have found anything new at the farm, at the police station, any and all that type of jazz, I would love to hear from y'all in that comment section down below, along with your guys' thoughts on what the new armor, not new armor, but, like, new loot is looking like in general, and how they, like, incorporated it into, like, the existing ecosystem. And no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Ah, it's just a normal crate. Are you kidding me? Ah, I was hoping we get the freaking infected crate, but wah, wah. looks like not today, but it's still a great chance to check out some of the new loot that these things do have to offer. Let's go and clear off this location. Though. I don't want to get freaking mu- Oh, that's a lot of rope. You love to see it. Like I'm saying, I'm a fan of rope now. Season three's changed to me, man. Season three and all the spike traps I had to build for Fort Moss. It changed me. Let's go and clear out this location, lickety split, and then we'll check it out. But yeah, let me know in that comment section down below. And reminder that that comment is going to put you one third of the way into the weekly $25. I do touch place store gift card giveaway. All you got to do as well is make sure the like button, make sure to subscribe to that letter if you win on today's video. Y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on Earth video. When Saturday rolls around, we'll pick random video for the past week, pick random comment from that random video, and that will be the winner for the week. And we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same Saturday as well. So make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with every single video. Y'all can enter in on for that weekly giveaway, not to mention all the incredible season three stuff coming yo lads and lassies way and more last day on earth and other awesome stuff in general times are looking good right now especially with the video that's going to be going up after this Woo, mama am i hyped to get that up keep your eyes and ears peeled because i am the, the freaking happiest camper man it's been it's been a good couple of weeks let's just say that between season three what else is dropping today on the channel good stuff are coming but without further ado whoa I see nothing new. Not even caps? Are you serious? Oh my god, a common blueprint, bruh. I mean, I'll take the armor, but... And an AK? Is that AK really the best thing that we got out of here? Well, the C4 is going to help us hopefully get more better things, but that's besides the point. The point is, bruh, is this really all that we got to do? I am a little bit disappointed by you. I was fully expecting the floppy disk to have something new. And TBH, man, they really should add some new stuff into the floppy disk. Like, personally, let me know what you guys think about this as well. I'd love to see the freaking fisherman's pack and maybe, like, the professional fishing rod added somehow into something, whether it be the floppy crate or a red ticket crate or something. I really do wish that they would add some of this new stuff. Maybe even add the chance for, like, a lead... Like, dude, they should add the chance to get a lead plate out of the floppy disk. I think that that would actually be pretty fair. Like, I'm not gonna lie. A lead plate, like, that's 
super rare, but it's still a way to get it. Like, I don't know. I just feel like a lot of this new stuff, they should add like a chance to get it in the old ecosystem. When I say old ecosystem, I mean like the old ways, like Bunker Alpha, like Floppy Disk Crate, like Police Station, like all the stuff that was already in the game before the update. I do think some of the new stuff, like the swamp, the lead, the freaking all that jazz rubber, uh, I don't know, acid. They did it. Okay, they did add acid to be fair, but like even like explosive materials, like all that jazz, maybe even like a little bit of sulfur and stuff. Like it'd be super cool if they did add like at least a chance at getting small amounts in existing things like the freaking floppy disk crate over here, for example, uh, like the red ticket crate, yellow ticket crate, all that jazz farm crate. I don't know. I think it'd be pretty cool. Like at the farm crate also, I think it would make a lot of sense for this freaking like peat or whatever to like spawn in because that kind of looks like dirt or something. I don't know. Like I, I just, it would be really awesome if they added in like a way of getting small amounts of the new ecosystem, so to speak, inside of the old ecosystem, kind of similar to how you can get like oak planks and red zones, right? Because oak planks didn't exist until the 1.6 update, and then they were added in with dedicated oak forests, but you could get a little bit of them in like existing forests. So it'd be pretty cool if they did something like that, where they had a little bit of crossover between the new stuff and the old stuff. Like they have a little bit now, but I think they could do a little bit more, especially with some of the super valuable stuff like floppy crates, ticket crates, police station crates, farm crate. There's a lot of stuff and a lot of great potential for a lot of crossover that isn't really currently happening. Also, I'm going to grab these paints because, uh, yes, I would like those. But uh, with that said, with that done, I think that's going to start wrapping it up for this episode of Last Day on Earth Survival. When we return, we're going to have some good stuff coming your way as we usually do and we of course continue our work towards getting that atv and swamp assembled and when it finally gets assembled we're gonna have some really cool stuff to show off we got the chemistry station the hydroponic system a toilet god bless it. man there's gonna be so much that we get to do I get, I'm just cracking a giant smile just thinking about it right now boys and girls but with that said with that done that's gonna to start wrapping it up Oh me for now. Thank you guys for holding for watching. Have so an awesome one, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.